So, uh, we keep got this going pretty good. You can see, got our reinforcement. What we're gonna do is, we got we found out a couple things. One is this ditch comes, and you can see it kind of curves a little bit right there, and that's what pushed it into that side there and washed that out for one. So we're gonna kind of cut that edge there just a little bit, take these big rocks and move them over, and just kind of move the ditch over a little bit, and then. And kind of keep it going there and and the same thing here it really pushed that way so we're going to take the bucket of the tractor and just dig that out just a little bit just to kind of move the ditch over a little once we get that concrete in there put a few big rocks and then the ditch will be here i think it'll be fine but we're going to finish getting this all prepped we've got a bunch of it's pretty steep right there i don't know how if you, you can see it but it's a pretty steep edge right there we may even have to fill a little bit with some shale. I'm just afraid it's all going to wash out. But but anyway, we're going to do a lot of work here for reinforcement. So we're going to get it all set up, and I think we'll wait till Monday to pour the concrete, just because it's a little, little soft, a little muddy in there. I think we do a lot better waiting till Monday. We're supposed to get a little warmer each day. But uh, anyway. Yeah, it'll be it'll work out good. And if it does it again, we'll just fix it again. But what we got here is we got some overcoat, which is that black stuff we put on top of the on top of the driveway here. And it uh we're gonna use it up here to cover that concrete, so it'll be black. Not that it's a big deal that it's white, but it'll look a lot better if we just paint on a little overcoat there. I know because this concrete we did right here, there was actually a notch out here. And when we overcoated, we just painted, you know, just put the overcoat right on there. So that little spot there is concrete and you can't even tell. So we're just going to use that stuff and paint this all this stuff when we do it. Just so it doesn't stand out. But this is holding up really well. We need to come here and clean this out a little bit. But um, but it definitely uh, kept it from eroding anymore. And we kind of laid those rocks in the concrete, so that helped. You can see like here, it tried to, tried to work in a little bit, but this kept it out. So anyway, yeah, I think this worked out really well, and I think it'll continue. So, so that's that for now. I went over and talked to Sergio, the guy that caretakes for Mike Hughes. Um, there was a truck that we got a picture of back there that was driving around. It drove all the way from Tom's. We saw the way it was going. Came all the way from Gates Road. Went all the way through his property, through his gate. All the way back by the big barn and out through Mike's. Got to that locked gate there and turned around and went all the way back through Tom's. All the way back down Gates Road. And it was right when we were having those big storms. I don't know if it was somebody that just saw the road on the map. And since the road was closed, maybe he thought he could go this way or what. I don't know. But anyway, we didn't know who it was. So I went over to ask Sergio if he knew if maybe it was him or something. And I was just going to tell him if he needed to, you know, a situation like that, give me a call and I'll bring him through here so he can go get his kids or whatever. I don't know if he has kids, but anyway, uh, so I talked to him for a while. Uh, it turned out it's not his truck. He doesn't know who it is, but, um, and I, I saw he had chickens, so I talked to him about that, and yeah, he does. He has chickens. He has a little chicken house. I got a picture of it. 
and he said that uh, he doesn't have heat in his. He just he it's all open. I mean, it's not all. It's it's got like chicken wire windows, and at night he puts up these pieces of plywood, and he says that keeps it warm enough for him. So maybe we don't need electricity down here. Um, he has electricity in his. He has a light, but we could do a battery powered light. Um, it'd be nice to have power, but I don't think we have to. So he says his chickens lay just fine, even in the winter, without the electricity, without the heat lamp. So anyway, just thought I'd pass that on. He showed me which food works really well for laying hens. And uh, yeah, gave me some tips. So I'll send, I'll send you that picture of the chicken house. If you ever get over there, he has a cool little setup. He has a little, uh, he made a pizza oven. He built it himself out of the rocks and, you know, how, like he did the mailbox out there in front in the driveway. And he made a little pizza oven. And he's got a little uh, hexagon room around it. And he sits in there. He's got a table and he's got a little sink with a faucet. And he cooks his meals in there. It's, it's kind of a neat little deal. It's worth taking a look at if you're ever over there. Anyway, that's all.